shit. Is that another earthquake or is Lizzo complaining again? Good evening, citizens of the world. My name is Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News, coming to you from our parent company at the Spunk Network, where we cover it all and give it to you hard and quick. This is Last Month in Music News, where we bring you sort of current music news from last month to distract you from your miserable lives. <sighs> Sorry, folks, I had flashbacks from last month. I can't tell if it was when that doctor put a finger in my butt or when we had an actual earthquake here in New York. We start the broadcast off with finding out exactly what this monstrosity of a tattoo is called that Machine Gun Kelly got recently. It's called a blackout tattoo. I think it's called that because you would have to be blackout drunk to get that crap tattooed on your body. Boy, he's lucky he made it in the industry. Grimes gave her very rational and expert opinion on AI and the influence it'll have on music in the future. She claims that when everyone has the same tools that can make professional quality stuff, then you get to see the actual talent really rise to the top. This clip should be shown every time Grimes gives her opinion on anything. Grimes. What you just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Beyonce's new song, Texas Hold'em, had been out for less than two months when she released a remix with an extra verse. Stay tuned next month when she releases the 30th anniversary edition of the song. Pharrell Williams is putting out a Black Yacht Rock album. The very next article I saw while researching music news? Read it. Take it in, people. Diddy and his son had a little Black Yacht Rock themselves going down. They have to steal everything from white people, don't they? A high school invited rapper Sexy Red to come by and speak to the kids. Why? I have no goddamn clue. When she arrived, they turned her away because she smelled like weed. Sexy Red said that she was prepared to talk to the kids and give them the word of the day and is upset that they wanted her to leave. I reached out to her rep and was told that the word of the day was definitely not classy. Jimmy Fallon performed the song Total Eclipse of the Heart by Bonnie Tyler with Anne and Nancy Wilson of the band Heart during the Total Eclipse last month. Two of them did very well, and the third one totally made me want the sun to explode and engulf us all in a fiery, agonizing death that would have still been less painful than his singing. It was just as underwhelming as the eclipse. <sighs> John Bon Jovi told the story on Jimmy Kimmel Live about the time he was at the same hotel with Michael Jackson and invited him to party with the band. Bon Jovi said that Michael sent Bubbles the Chimp to meet him instead, and the hotel almost kicked him out after Bon Jovi resisted Bubbles' advances. Bubbles said he knew he should have went to the P. Diddy party instead, where they know how to have a good time. This brings us to our wonderful sponsors. Machine Gun Kelly Tattoos. Worried about finding a tattoo artist with the skill to cover up your childhood trauma? No worries. Step into Machine Gun Kelly's tattoo parlor and pick a color. Tattoos so easy, a baboon couldn't screw it up. The only downside is it looks like shit. The P. Diddy Yacht Rock album. Listen to such smooth bangers as Don't Resist, It Won't Make It Easier For You Or Me. Just Diddy, You Took The P Right Out Of Me. If the yacht is rockin', there's some nasty shit going on. And smile for the hidden camera. Now I'd like to document a story on the, the Who Gives a Shit file. Yes, I'm giving it attention, but who gives a shit anyway? This month's Who Gives a Shit isn't related to music, other than the sweet music that fell on people's ears upon hearing the news. O.J. Simpson dead at 76 years old. For you uber youngins that don't know, ex-star football player O.J. Simpson was on trial for murdering his ex-wife Nicole Simpson and her friend Ron Goldman in the mid-90s outside of her home and was acquitted because some gloves sort of kind of didn't fit. O.J. spent the last 30 years living in the lap of luxury while two people's lives were cut short. To Arenthal James Simpson dying of prostate cancer, I say, who gives a shit? Here's to hoping they finally find the real killer. 
Hmm, at least OJ took a real good stab at it. The annual music festival Coachella kicked off the sound problems for numerous acts with the microphone and other technical issues. Scientists that study this important stuff said that it's probably the skanky air that's accumulated from fans not showering that has infiltrated the electronics. They suggest fans take drugs that also have exfoliators in them to combat being dirtbags. More music gold from Billboard. The headline says Taylor Swift unveils a bold new lyric from Tortured Poets Department. Even statues crumble. The full lyric is even statues crumble if they're made to wait. I'm just floored, folks. She's so brave. I haven't seen this much boldness since the invention of the plain white t-shirt. They act like she revolutionized the world of quantum mechanics. Leonardo DiCaprio was being cast to play Frank Sinatra in a biopic with Jennifer Lawrence playing Frank's second wife, Ava Gardner. I'm not sure Leo playing Frank would be realistic. Frank started dating Ava Gardner when he was 35 years old and she was about 27. When Frank was 35, he was picking up a glass of whiskey on the rocks. And when Leo turned 35, he was picking up his girlfriend from her high school prom. Myra Carvalho sent singer Harry Styles 8,000 cards and handwritten letters in less than a month. She's been sentenced to 14 weeks in prison, given a restraining order for 10 years, and banned from attending any event where Harry Styles would perform. That's 266 cards and letters a day. That's slightly excessive. Here I am waiting days to get a response from women for my boobs meme with a Yoda. Some guys have all the luck. Sia and Paris Hilton are putting out a new song together called Fame Won't Love You. Paris Hilton said that Sia brought something out of her that nobody ever has. A non-narcissistic, complete, coherent sentence. Jason Derulo was supposed to perform at a SeaWorld, but Peter talked him out of it. They sent him gifts, including a t-shirt, stuffed animal, and a special thank you note. The thank you note reads, Thank you for not fucking dolphins, Jason Derulo. The first solar-powered vinyl pressing plant opened in Florida. They're called Audiodrome Record Pressing. Not only are they solar-powered, but they make records out of PVC from vinyl trimmings. Vinyl is still a petroleum product, and so are the solar panels. When the solar panels are laying in a toxic heap at a garbage dump in about 10 years, Audio Chrome can feel good about themselves, like the alcoholic that says, at least it's not meth. We're all going to hell in a handbasket, and there's no escaping it. Megan Thee Stallion is being sued by her former cameraman for creating a hostile work environment and making the conditions of his employment intolerable. Emilio Garcia said that while in an SUV with Megan and three other women, Megan started having sex with one of the other women right next to him and that he was embarrassed, mortified, and offended throughout the whole ordeal. Oh, no. This is disgusting, and abuse is abuse. I'd like to apply for the cameraman position right this instance to keep an eye on Megan's actions to make sure she never does this to any normal, non-perverted man ever again. (sighs) Well, folks, that's all the news for now. You will like this video, comment down below, and subscribe. I'm Stiff Rockwood, and this is Jizz News. You know what I always say? (laughs) Who gives a shit? Until next time, blocked by my fat head. Thank you for watching, you freaks. I'll be back next month with more stupid jokes. Remember, don't fuck dolphins.